Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to Proof of Work Coin News. This is your host, Coinology. If you have a moment, please, please, please subscribe. We are almost at 500 subscribers. I am super excited about it. Thank you to everyone that continuously shows up every single day. I super appreciate you. Uh, let's jump over to the Proof of Work market. Currently, we do have Bitcoin moving sideways. Um, we obviously we have some bigger winners today. Dynex is up 12.7%. GRS token is up 18.9%. Cast is up 6.6%. Uh, On the other side of things, we only have a couple of uh, coins down, and they are only down like a percentage. Flux is down 1.7%. A lot more green in the market today. Today, I wanted to talk about the Ice River KS0 and how. Uh, they are finally dying and or just about dead. Uh, so if you are planning on purchasing this machine, you may want to take uh, heed to this warning. Um, this is not financial advice. But as of right now, the Ice River KS0, um, some of them are still shipping out. People are still considering purchasing these miners. Uh, these miners run at 100 giga hash. And currently, this machine is doing 200 and 10 caspa a day now originally this machine was doing over 1100 caspa per day this is significantly significantly come down as the network hash rate has uh basically collapsed the uh caspa network uh to where the only miners that are going to be profitable are going to be the ks3 uh ks2 and a little bit of the ks1 um but essentially now Caspa's network hash rate is almost to 8 petahash, which is just wild because uh, for a long time we weren't even at 1 petahash. Um, so we're at 8 petahash right now and we are rising by the day. Uh, so if we look back at the Ice River KS0 at this rate, uh, we could be down to 100 or 50 or 0 coins within just the next couple of days should we get up to about you know, 9, 10 petahash. Um, additionally, this machine is making about 968 a day uh, currently. Now, Caspa has actually been begging for a retracement. Uh, so Caspa is, uh, is currently up a lot. Um, so right now, Caspa is at four and a half pennies currently and um, hit an all-time high of five uh, pennies, but is basically begging to retrace come back down now should caspa come down and you know retrace to two cents or two and a half cents this miner will be making about five dollars a day or less combine that in the next couple days with the rising network hash rate and this machine will do no dollars no cents and will be completely unprofitable now these uh prices on these machines are starting to look really good as they are down to seven hundred dollars uh, but don't be fooled um, take a moment take a look at the numbers uh, you can come here to asicminercompare.com i'm not affiliated and you can take a look at the numbers yourself so you know what you're getting into even at 65 watts uh, with no real hash rate on the network anymore uh, these machines just will not uh, you know, profit or make any coins as the pieces of the pie are getting smaller and smaller for Caspa. But tell me what you think down in the comments below. I would love to know your thoughts on Caspa, on uh, the KS0, about any of the models. Um, what do you think about the KS3? Is there going to be very much profitability for KS3 owners when those come out? So currently we have the RTX 4090 most profitable on uh, Nexa, doing $1.95 a day, $0.88 cents after power. We have the 6900 XT, most profitable on Dynex, doing $0.96 cents a day, $0.66 cents after profit. The 4080, most profitable on Dynex, doing $0.91 cents a day, $0.51 cents after profit. The 7900 XTX, most profitable on Dynex, doing $0.94 cents a day, $0.50 cents after profit. I have the 4070 Ti most profitable on Dynex doing 68 cents revenue, 43 cents profit. We have the uh, 3090 most profitable on Kirocoin doing $1.21 a day, 38 cents after profit. 
We have the CMP 170HX card uh, do on most profitable on Game Pass Network, doing 81 cents a day, 37 cents after profit. We have the 30. 3080Ti, most profitable on CHN coin, which I have not heard of actually, uh, doing 114 a day, 34 cents after profit. We have the A4, the A5000, most profitable on Kiro coin, doing 86 cents revenue, 34 cents profit. Down we have the BC160, most profitable on Dynex, doing 42 cents revenue, 27 cents profit. Um, this card is kind of interesting. It's a older card, a really strong Ethereum card, which seems to be making a little bit of a comeback. I have been interested in these cards recently. Moving over to ASIC miners, we have uh, the Block X price uh, coming down. We have the network hash rate coming up on that network. So right now, the Antminer D9 is starting to lose some of its profitability, uh, but it is doing $35.92 a day, $29.08 after profit. We do have the Jazzminer X16-P on ET hash doing 2536 a day, 2080 after power. We have the Antminer L7 on script doing 1587 a day, 765 after power. With the Antminer K7 on CKB doing $14.71 a day, 732 after power. We have the S19 XP Hydro doing 1924 on SHA-256, 640 after power. The Z15 Pro on Equihash doing 1132 a day, 518 after power. And we have the Antminer KA3 on Cadena doing 1130 a day, 372 after power. Thank you so much for coming to hang out with me. I really do appreciate it. Please help me get to 500 subscribers. It's something I've been working on for quite a while now. Um, if you have any uh, feedback about any proof of work coins, proof of work miners, you want to talk about them, you have questions about them, you want me to make a video about them, please drop your comments down below. This is a proof of work only discussion channel where we can talk about these freely and, uh, you know, critique coins, critique miners. Uh, but yeah, let me know what you think down in the comments below and I will see you tomorrow.